Hey there. So a lot of people have been asking me for suggestions as far as different ways that you can give feedback to student work digitally. If you're using a platform like Google Classroom, um, Classroom does have its own built-in um, correction um, system that you can give feedback in the form of suggestions to your students that you're able to go in and edit. And then what that does is it puts it as a suggestion that your students will see on their end. They can make their correction and then um, it can then get that correction to disappear or resolve. A lot of people who have not been using Google Classroom before distance learning have found that um, it's taking a lot of time um, to give feedback digitally, to correct your students' work and actually give them timely feedback um, in the way that you want to. I wanted to show one possible tool that may help that's a little more similar um, to traditional feedback in the form of circling and writing or typing in this case on your students' work and getting it back to them for them to then make their revisions or even just to give them um, some feedback, whether it's not in revision or if it is. So with that, I have a piece of student work in front of us here. Um, it's a copy of student work. This is not in classroom. This is in its own Google Doc, but it would work the same if it was in classroom. That's important to know. Um, and yeah, so we'll take a peek at one of my students' entries from their COVID chronicles. So in order to get your feedback um, moving, you'll have to click on the web paint icon in the top right corner here. And you've got a lot of choices. This is really similar to Microsoft Paint. Um, so you can draw on it. You can use shapes that you can insert. Um, you can change the colors. You can type. But the coolest thing is then at the end of it, we can take a screenshot right in here and put the screenshot right into the student's work so they can see the corrections, correct their work, and then either get rid of your um, screenshot with the corrections or leave it there, whatever you decide. Um, again, this is not knocking Google Classroom's um, way of correcting. I love it, but this is just offering another suggestion to teachers who may be finding that it's taking them a little longer than they would like to give feedback and would like another option um, as far as how to correct work and get it back to students. So just showing you a couple of the things, we're not gonna go through and correct all of this, but if you click on the pencil and you can click on the color, let's do our usual red here. You can decide on how thick or how thin you'd like your line to be. But let's say we wanted to circle this spelling error here. She spelled quarantine wrong. Well, see, my circle didn't work well. Um, if you have a touch screen, it's a lot easier um, than the traditional mouse that I'm using. But you can also, so there's an undo button here. You can also just use the circle shape here and have it that way. And then if you wanted to let them know why it's circled, click on the T for the text. And then you click where you would like the text to begin. So I'm going to just tell them spelling error. Okay. So you can see that that's in red. What I would usually do with something like this is I would color code my circles that like all red are spelling errors. Um, and then let's look like this I right here. They need to, it's not a spelling error. They need to capitalize it. So I'm going to just use a different color here. I'll go with the blue. And then I'm going to say capitalize. All right. So here, I'm not going to spend too much more time um, with the corrections, but I did want to just show you that you have these other tools that you can use. Um, and you also can play around with them. Um, but again, this is meant if you're using it for feedback, you're probably just going to be using the circle, maybe the square if you wanted to select. Um, a certain amount of lines to draw their attention to. Um, play around with it, but possibilities, there are a lot. So let's say we were all done. What we would then want to do is go here to take a screenshot. So it took a screenshot of it. 
And then if I wanted to, I could download it. If I wanted to keep the image, um, I could print it. But what I do, um, you can also crop it. But what I do is I just copy it, which if you click up here, it'll tell you how to copy. You right click the image and then click copy image, right click copy. So then I go back here, I quit this. So I'm back in my students work. And then I simply just paste at the bottom. So then they're able to see the corrections that I have put in. Um, and I may want to like leave a little note. Um, you could even have something like that you have ready to copy and paste on there that just says, please see corrections below, um, make corrections. And then if you want them after they correct their work, they can just delete this. Or if you want them to leave it, you totally can. Um, so this is just one more way that you can correct student work um, and in a little bit of a different way. This is really great on a touch screen. Um, if you are looking to write, you can even write. It does work really, really well. I hope that this is helpful.